Welcome to WDSU Channel 14 News. I'm your host, Candace Peterson. Today we are standing in front of the Science Center where the CSI Crime Investigation Lab Seminar will take place. What out of three CSI crime labs in Dover and over 15 in Delaware, let's see why the CSI Crime Investigation Lab Seminar is an important factor in the state of Delaware. Well, my title is Deputy Director, so I am at the Delaware Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, which oversees the entire state of Delaware. And we are responsible for the medical legal investigation of deaths that fall under our jurisdiction by Delaware Code. And that would involve uh, homicides and suicides, accidental deaths, suspicious deaths, and then some other deaths that uh, there's simply nobody available to sign a death certificate on that end up in our jurisdiction. We decided to run a seminar because of the um interest by the students in the public and forensic science itself. So we thought this would be a great way to give our program exposure to the community and to give students an opportunity to really see firsthand what the field actually entails instead of what they see on TV. We're bringing in practitioners who are actually working in the field and they can give a firsthand account as to what they do and what it, what, what's required to get into the field. Well, the first thing you need is a, is a good education and you need to really decide what it is that you want to do in forensic science. A general degree in forensic science actually won't open very many doors for you, unlike what you might see on television. A person in the forensic doesn't do everything. They do sort of one area. Television shows tend to depict people going to crime scenes and then they're back in the lab doing stuff and then they're in the autopsy room doing stuff and they're back in the field. That's just not the reality of it. So our forensic pathologists have many, many years of education. But bear in mind that they pretty much stay in the morgue. They don't get out to the scenes. There's more to it than what people believe there is. Like, when you watch TV, you're like, oh, okay, that's really cool. They just go up and they do a few things, and they're like, oh, they know the exact death. Where they really don't know the exact death. From the TV show CSI Miami all the way to the real CSI in Delaware, this has been a very exciting topic. This seminar will give us a vague description on death, decomposition, and facts on the human body. Well, I'm just going to touch base on one small area of forensics, which we deal with in the medical legal area, which is that of decomposition. And decomposition is a change in body appearance after death as a result of a number of processes which I will talk about today. Uh, that's very important for us because we have to have positive identification of decedents and as you probably know things change after death. I've taught seminars for uh, most of the colleges in the area just as a service introduction to death investigation or introduction to forensics. Typically you would see our, of course, our science majors, biology, chemistry, physics, um, criminal justice or sociology students, but we also have students from all disciplines that are interested and would like to come, and, and typically they come. We have people from the general community that have been attending these seminars faithfully. I believe the programs are very good. Like, I've been to all the forensic science programs and each speaker has been very good and have taught us all something. So far I think it's been pretty good considering we're a very new program. We have graduated one student last year so um, we're working towards accreditation. We, we still have quite a bit of work to do but we're definitely making progress and I'm really proud of the progress that we've made. This has been another successful seminar. The CSI Crime Investigation Lab promises there is more to come. From fingerprints to DNA and human decomposition, this seminar has taught us the importance of being alive and what happens when you die. I'm your host, Candace Peterson. This is WDSU Channel 14 News.